cannot surrender this no. debate. We cannot let talk radio, Rush Limbaugh, guide this debate. The hysteria that he is creating, that conservative talk radio is creating all around the country as though people were in love with their health care plan. It is amazing to see people get up and defend what has been hurting them, driving them bankrupt, one of the leading causes of foreclosure. What's most important with the public option, which is being debated, is that it puts the federal government <coughs> in the game of competition. It helps decrease the cost from insurance companies who are basically getting over on everybody. And I hate to use this analogy, they can become the Walmart of insurance where they can drive costs down from competitors. In this district alone, we have 173,000 people who are uninsured. And that is 30% of our population. I'm currently without health care. Uh, the COBRA, I'm uh, right now unemployed, and uh, the COBRA is uh, <laughs> prohibitive. I'm in a window that they will not want to accept anyone. I mean, just being that age is like, what do you call it, a, a, a precondition? Three-fourths of the people who go bankrupt because of medical bills actually had insurance coverage. I mean, three-fourths. So what we're saying is that we need, to, we need to make sure everyone is covered. We need to make sure that everyone is taken care of so you don't have these huge costs in the hospital because they haven't been treated. They haven't been treated for their diabetes and it's gotten so bad that they had to have their foot amputated. We know that the cost just to provide health insurance over the next say seven years, will we'll go up $13,000. How many of you are covered with health insurance? Please raise your hands. Okay, hands down, please. How many of you love your insurance? You may keep it. <laughs> When people have done good things in this country, they've always done it by expanding rights to others. And healthcare is probably the most basic right any of us have. And if you don't have it, you don't have the freedom to exercise any of the other rights that you supposedly have in the Constitution. It's as simple as that. Thank you.